let us talk about four positions that will favor you if you are shy or you're just uncomfortable with your body now like it or not there are a lot of people who are uncomfortable with their body size maybe the size of their belly okay so when they want to you know get intimate with their partner they get really uncomfortable and this makes it very weird okay it makes you not even enjoy what you're about to do all right especially if like you, you guys are looking at each other and it's just weird like when you're not yet in that comfortable position to do the do with whoever you're doing it with okay and also there are some people who have like ugly face when they finish you know what i'm talking about some of you guys you have a very ugly face when you are shooting your whatever out all right so you're always looking for where to hide your face or you don't want this girl to see your face usually you just turn off the lights but let's say it's daytime and you cannot turn off the light these positions will help you okay if you have any of these insecurities your body or your face or if she's just a shy person but you want her to enjoy what's about to happen so let us talk about this welcome welcome back to my channel it's a girl ij already know how we do it here let's keep it short and simple and go straight into this video and the very first one i'm going to talk about is the reverse tabletop all right for those of you who are experts already you already know the tabletop now tabletop comes in two ways okay that's why I'm, we're talking about the reverse one now the regular tabletop is this is if this is a table your girl is sitting on the table and she's facing you with her legs aja that's what it's called here yeah? yes and you are directly in between her legs while she's sitting on the table and you people are going at it okay that's the regular tabletop and the reverse tabletop that will help you if you are insecure about your body size maybe your big belly okay or you're insecure about your finishing face is where you turn her over <clears throat> i don't know why my voice is cracking so if this is a table okay and this is your girl let's assume this this part is her waist okay this is the table she's standing very close to the table and she's going to be lying down with her chest area you understand so she's going to lie down her chest area where you can do what you want to do from the back so she's spread this way lying down on top of the table while her legs are standing and you're doing whatever you want to do so it's like the dog position but this time around she is lying on top of a table surface all right so this works perfectly if you are a shy person and you don't want her to you know see your face or you're just insecure about your body generally the second one that is also very good if you're very insecure about your body if you're just shy is the leapfrog now the leapfrog position okay is where your girl is on her foot she's on she's kneeling down with her hands down like you know like the cat's position or the other dog position <laughs> okay like so she's kneeling down but she's also going to be spreading the upper part of her body on whatever surface she's kneeling down on so let's say if she's on the bed okay she's kneeling down on the bed with her hands on the bed but rather than keep her hands like this on the bed she's going to be lying down only with her upper body so it means that while she's kneeling down her bugatti is going to be facing really up for you to do what you want to do okay so this is also very good for like deep penetrations and you know all of those it's very very good and it helps you hide your insecurities so she's not going to see your face you're going to see your big belly she's not going to see how you're going to do it on your face when you're about to finish and all of that so the lip frog is like one of the best i'm telling you that position is it gives deep penetration and it's really really enjoyable for both parties so yeah try it if you are insecure about your body or if you're just shy the third one that is also like one of the, the best according to the girls okay if you're shy and you know you guys are just starting off for the first time like even if you're newly married so maybe you did sex you did no sex before marriage and you're you're still uncomfortable you're still shy in front of your partner this position is very very good and that's the spooning position or the spoon position i don't have a spoon here but i've shown you guys what i meant what i mean but i'm sure a lot of you know it so the spoon position is where you are lying down side by side with your partner so it's like you're cuddling your partner from the back while you guys are lying down yeah so you're just giving the, your partner a big hug from the back but you guys are lying down side by side so that's a perfect way to explain it spoon position so this way also you don't get to see your partner's face your partner doesn't get to see your body the only downside there is if it's the girl who is insecure you can be holding her belly <laughs> you get what i mean but like if you are the one who's insecure or you just don't want her to see your calm face yes i said it okay like that's also one of the best positions and it gives you the liberty to do whatever you want to do in front of her body you know so since you're cuddling her from the back while you're lying down and you are entering into the honey pot from the rear area 
okay you have the liberty to use your hands to play with the lady bells you know use your hands and you know do all of the choking and all of that yeah for some of the girls who are that nasty and they want you to put your, your finger in their mouth you can put your fingers in their mouth while you are doing whatever you're doing behind like it's very very like it's fun all right it's a very good fun position so if you haven't tried if you haven't tried it make sure you try but anyways this is for people who are shy okay if you're just starting out this is one way that you can express yourself without looking at each other's faces and number four will be the i don't want to talk about the like the normal dog position because everybody knows the dog one all right so like it's not new and that's also very good okay so we're not going to stress on that one because you already know this one now the fourth one i'm going to talk about is the reverse you know cowgirl style okay now this one is where you are sitting down and your girl is sitting on top of your lap but she's not facing you so she's so let's say you're behind me excuse me so let's say you're behind me and i'm sitting on top of your lap right now okay so that's the reverse one all right so this position also gives you liberty to do whatever you want to do in front of your girl you know touch squeeze choke and all of those things while not looking at her and she's also not looking at you and she cannot see your insecurities so you have the liberty to do whatever you want to do roll your eyes and squeeze your face however way you want to squeeze your face while you're enjoying what you are doing okay now this is one of the favorite ones for the girls because it also gives the girl the liberty to do whatever she wants to do like facial expression wise and you know without feeling like you're looking at her face while she's doing what she's doing so these four positions are excellent if you are a shy person or you're just insecure with your body at that moment okay so all of these positions will give you confidence to deliver in the other room but the major thing that will give you all of the confidence in the world is for you to take care of yourself if you're if you feel insecure about something on your body and you can control it like you can go to the gym or work out or eat less definitely do that so that i mean you'll be your 100 percent self in the other room and you won't have to you know pick positions to favor your shyness or your insecurities anyways that's the end of the video for today let me know what you think about this video in the comment section i will see you in my next video if you're not yet subscribed be sure to do that and give this video a smart thumbs up so that more people can see it so until next time keep living life giving chance and bye for now Mwah.